Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfet. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and promulgated Law Number 21 of 2022 on amending some provisions of Decree by Law Number 24 of 1976 on social insurance following its approval by the Shura and Representatives Councils. According to the law, the following paragraph shall be added to Article 2 of Decree Law Number 24 of 1976 on social insurance. The provisions of this law shall also apply to the family members of the employer who work with him or her in accordance with the terms and conditions set as per an edict issued by the minister. Item 9 of the first paragraph of Article 3 of Decree Law Number 24 of 1976 on social insurance shall be repeated, as uh, shall be repealed, and the remaining items of this paragraph shall be renumbered accordingly. The Minister of Labour and Social Development and Chairman of the Board of Labour Market Regularity Authority, LMRA, Jamil bin Mohammed al Hamedan, delivered a speech at the 110th session of the International Labour Conference, the ILO. He reviewed the initiatives implemented in the Kingdom as part of its response to the coronavirus pandemic and the economic recovery plan aimed at revitalising, establishing and sustaining the labour market. The Minister pointed out that Bahrain has made strides in protecting workers, preserving their rights and creating a safe working environment. Maidan stressed the Kingdom's keenness to promote the growth of the labour market after the pandemic by launching a four-year recovery plan to stimulate the national economy, develop the labour market and attract foreign investment. He affirmed that Bahrain boasts a qualified national workers thanks to the great care given to training and qualifying the citizens. Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs Wael bin Nasser al Mubarak took part in the Water for Sustainable Development 2018 to 2028 conference in Tajikistan capital. During his speech in the conference, the minister highlighted Bahrain's efforts to sustain water resources by increasing water supplies and expanding seawater desalination capacity, which led to an increase in the per capita share of water. He stressed the efforts designated to build institutions capacities, integration and knowledge transfer through the Water Resources Council. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs pointed that the Bahrain Economic Plan of 2030 seeks to implement the initiatives of the Comprehensive National Water Strategy in Bahrain. A Bahraini delegation led by Foreign Ministry Chief of Strategic Affairs Ambassador Nancy Abdullah Jamal participated in the meeting of the Executive Committee of Terrorist Financing Targeting Center TFTC and related consultative discussions which was held in Riyadh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Ambassador Nancy Abdullah Jamal delivered a speech in which she affirmed Bahrain's commitment to supporting international efforts to combat the sources of terrorist financing which would preserve the security Security and stability of the region through its membership in the TFTC. She stressed the need for continued coordination of regional efforts under the umbrella of TFTC for the benefit of the region's interest and in support of establishing security and peace in the whole world. She congratulated the Center's members on the collective designation of 16 individuals and terrorist entities by the TFTC, which was announced today on the occasion of its fifth anniversary. She noted that this designation is an achievement that reflects a stronger and more determined position for the center, its mandate and its main objectives, and it is a testimony to what can be achieved by acting as a united front. She added that designating the Iranian Revolutionary Guards Hezbollah and their agents on this list, including Saraya al ashtar and al mukhtar on an equal footing in the same category with both ISIS and Al-Qaeda and its affiliated organizations, is a victory in itself and a recommitment of all member states to continue defeating the dangers of terrorism, especially now that many countries are in the process of reassessing their national standards regarding what is considered terrorism and reconsidering their sanctions list. 
The Ministry of the Interior has affirmed that terrorist groups Saray al ashtar and Al-Mukhtar militias are based in Iran. In a statement today, the ministry said that the Iran Revolutionary Guard aids and abates both groups whose operatives targeted Bahrain security and perpetrated terrorist crimes which left casualties among citizens and residents. The Kingdom of Bahrain took part in the fourth conference of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, the OIC, on Mediation Experiences and Prospects, which was hosted by the Saudi Foreign Ministry in cooperation with OIC Secretary General on June the 5th and 6th. Council General of the Kingdom of Bahrain to Jeddah, Musa Abdullah Naimi, headed the Kingdom's delegation to the conference. The conference discussed over four sessions with the participation of international keynote speakers and experts in mediation issues related to the role of OIC and its member states in the field of mediation. The Arab League Assistant Secretary General for Arab National Security Affairs, Ambassador Khalil Ibrahim al dawadi also spoke on the event. Executive Director of Bahrain Institute for Political Development, Iman Janahi, announced the launch of 83 events and initiatives to support the electoral process in Bahrain. During a press conference, the Executive Director of the Institute stressed that the Institute for Political Development will continue to present a national program for parliamentary and municipal elections, DARB, in its second edition for its national role in the comprehensive development process of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, indicating that this program aims to train and educate candidates and electoral teams prepare the candidates support and strengthen the electoral process in addition to raising awareness and urging citizens to participate and contribute to political decision making the institute for political development also launched during the conference a guide for candidates for parliamentary elections and municipal elections the first of its kind in cooperation with a group of experts and specialists the guide includes six chapters dealing with the political system in the kingdom, the legal guide for candidacy and the political guide, and the media, financial and administrative monitoring and follow-up of the electoral process to be a basic reference for those wishing to run. The Kingdom of Bahrain observed the World of Food Safety Day, which falls on the 7th of June every year under the slogan, Safer Food, Better Health. As the Kingdom joins the world countries in celebrating this day, it is proud of the achievements, initiatives and efforts that have been made in this field that have enhanced food quality and safety with the aim of strengthening efforts for food safety in an effort to reduce the burden of diseases and health risks resulting from the consumption of unhealthy food. Bahrain attaches great importance to the issue of food safety through particularly efforts among the various authorities concerned with ensuring the quality and safety of food in the various stages of production and import up to the market and presenting it to the consumer because of its significant impact on the health and safety of citizens and residents by carrying out the required control and stages. World Food Safety Day aims to draw attention and inspire action to help prevent, detect and manage foodborne risks contributing to food security, human health, economic prosperity, agricultural market access, tourism and sustainable development. Through the World Food Safety Day, WHO works to mainstream food safety in the public agenda and reduce the burden of foodborne diseases globally. Food safety is everyone's business. And the Department of Primary Health Care Centers confirmed that the establishment and distribution of health centers in the Kingdom of Bahrain is carried out in accordance with approved standards and out of keenness to provide all health services to all equally and at the highest levels of quality. The administration indicated that each health center provides all services within the framework of primary care so that the centers are distributed in all governorates of the Kingdom, taking into consideration the population, consensus, the distance and the time taken to reach the centre, noting that allocating a number of complexes to each health centre allows the possibility of studying the area and counting the number of residents registered in the health centre to allocate the workforce. This is to ensure that health services are provided with high quality and in a specific period of time. She also clarified that the Choose Your Doctor programme, which falls under the project of self-management for primary healthcare centres, ensures the follow-up of each individual in the community by a specific medical team.